Hello, what is up everybody? Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Before we begin this video, I am doing an NBA 2K21 giveaway where I'm giving away a couple of NBA 2K21 editions of your choice, of your console of choice to be entered into this giveaway. You're gonna leave a like on this video, be active in every single one of my videos, I'm going to see who is active. Whoever's the most active of my videos will win this giveaway. As well as follow me on Twitter. I'm going to put a tweet out on Twitter. All you need to do is leave a like and maybe a retweet, like a comment. And then follow the rest of my socials. I'll make sure to message you on Twitter. So make a Twitter. It takes like two seconds to make a Twitter. I'll message you guys about the giveaway if you want or not. I'll be making sure to look at who is more, who's the most active in my YouTube comments. Who's active in my Twitter. Who's active in all my socials. Make sure to be active on the YouTube videos, okay? And that's how to be win the giveaway for NBA 2K21. So leave a like, hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on. Let's get straight to this banger. Which are the top three most underrated slept on jump shots in NBA 2K that are really, really cash and have a high make percentage and an incredible green percentage as well let's get straight into this banger all right everyone this is the first jump shot i want to show you guys and remember at the end of every set of gameplays i'm going to show you in the mic court how to time the jump shot as well and all these jump shots i'm using hall of fame quick draw my friend always goose used silver quick draw on this second jump shot i'm going to show you so let's get straight to the video this jump shot is very very good i've noticed i hit a lot more whites with this jump shot more than greens but in this gameplay footage i'm showing you right here I actually do know how to time it really easily. It's a fast jump shot, as you guys can see there. Easy to time. It has a, ma a massive make percentage because I make a lot of whites with this jump shot. And then my green window is actually pretty big as well. It's pretty easy to time. As I said, I'm going to show you on the mic on how to time it, but I'm hitting half-court shots. I, in this gameplay right here, I didn't miss, and it was really, really easy. It's really easy to time. It's butter, and it's really anything you guys need. You know, it's got a high make, high green. And the jump shot we're talking about is Ray Allen. I'm using straight jump shots, okay? So these jump shots aren't custom. You can custom to however you want. But this jump shot is Ray Allen. And I actually like Ray Allen. This is a really underrated jump shot that I don't see that many people using in NBA 2K20. And I really think you guys should try these jump, sh jump shots out and tell me in the comment section down below how you went with them. Or if you have any other underrated slept on jump shots, make sure to leave in the comment section down below and make another video just like this one if this video does good. But as you guys can see, look at the jump shot. What right here. That's a near half court, cold zone, green, carefully contested, and it goes in pretty easily. So again, I'm going to show you how to time the jump shot now in the my court. I just want to show you what I shot in this, so I'm not lying to you guys about these jump shots not being the best. I shot a perfect six from six and four from four from three point land. One of them was a layup, the other one was a mid-range. So yes, it does work in the mid-ranges, it works in the threes. And again, it is really good from catch. It's a good catch and shoot jump shot as well. You guys want to know about catch and shoot. It works tremendously of catch and shoot, as you guys can see right there. I don't use catch and shoot in NBA, oh, NBA 2K20. So it doesn't really matter if we're going with catch and shoot. Catch and shoot is easiest to time. But yes, it is very, very cash on catch and shoot. That is the Ray Allen jump shot that I am using. Let's go straight to the mic court and I'll show you how easily I time this jump shot and how cash it is, man. Let's go straight into that. Now that we're in the mic court, this is how to time the Ray Allen jump shot. Remember, it only worries about the base. The upper release is when you look at the hands. I only look at my feet to release the ball. So I'm going to show you it right here. I'm going to slow it down and have a standstill pitcher. As you guys can see, it has a really easy timing of the jump shot. Now, I'm going to show you a standstill picture and explain to you. This is where I leave the ball. When your feet are highly elevated, when they're elevated at the floor, and when both hands are up in the up in the air, okay? So when you flick up both hands, it'll be perfect time. But as you see, the still picture right there, that is how to time the Ray Allen jump shot. This is using Hall of Fame Quick Draw when done custom. But that is the first jump shot. Let's go to look at the second jump shot. All right, guys, now for the second jump shot. Now, this one is actually my personal favorite. This one works on Hall of Fame Quick Draw and Silver Quick Draw. It should work on Gold Quick Draw as well. So it is an all-round best jump shot. Now this jump shot has a high make percentage because I actually my green window is actually bigger on this one than the Ray Allen jump shot. I have noticed I hit a lot more greens when I hit the timing sweet spot every single time. I do hit a fair bit of whites, but not as many whites as Ray Allen. But this jump shot has a lot more greens go in because the green window is way bigger than on the Ray Allen jump shot. This jump shot is called Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe. Now, this jump shot, I've been using this jump shot since the start of the game. This was the very first jump shot I ever used, and it still is cash as. I highly recommend you guys try this jump shot out. It's my personal favorite. It's really easy to time. It's not the fastest jump shot. It's definitely not the slowest jump shot. It is the perfect timing jump shot in this game, and I highly recommend you guys try it out. Had the best time using this jump shot. 
I used it on my playmaking shot creator with an 88 three ball. I also used it on my floor spacing slasher with an 86 three ball. I didn't see real any difference. It's really cash from catch and shoot. It's the best. It's a it's a really good catch and shoot jump shot. Really amazing. Off dribble is really, really cash as well. So you guys should try that out on Hall of Fame Quick Draw. It also works on Silver Quick Draw. And I do shoot perfectly in these gameplays I'm showing you right here. But that is the jump shot called Kobe Bryant. Tell me in the comment section down below what you will rate this. The Ray Allen jump shot, I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10. This Kobe Bryant jump shot, I'm rating it at a hot 10 out of 10 because it works on catch and shoot, works from deep, works off dribble, works for any single build, silver, gold, Hall of Fame quick draw, works for any quick draw. You can put it into a custom jump shot, but I'm using pure Kobe Bryant. That is the second best jump shot. Now let's have a look how to time the jump shot. Now that we're in the mic court, again, I'm going to show you how to shoot the ball, how I greened it right there. I'm going to zoom in slow-mo and show you how to shoot it again, then have a standstill picture on how I hit the shot. Now, as you guys can see from the standstill picture, again, it's like the Ray Allen jump shot. But this time, when your feet are flicking down to the ground. So when you have the highest elevation and your feet are looking down to the ground, is when you release the ball. That is where the sweet spot in the green window is, okay? So this jump shot is the best on Hall of Fame, but it also works for silver and gold off catch and and off dribble, because I had people use this jump shot as well. So make sure to use this jump shot. This one is my personal favorite in the video. Let's go into the third jump shot. All right, this is the third best jump shot I want to show you. This is another slept on jump shot. Now this jump shot, I'm using Hall of fan quick draw as you guys can see my first shot using it ever i agreed a 24 percent covered three point shot now this jump shot is the best of dribble again it does work off catch and shoot and it does hit a lot of whites it is a 46 percent contested white right there but again i don't use catch and shoot so i don't know the full extent of the catch and shoot but as you guys can see right here it works with no stamina it works in the mid range it works in the corner three the top of the key it's really easy to time now this jump shot is on this on the slower side of the jump shots okay so this jump shot is called tony parker now tony parker was a very good jump shot back in 2k18 and back in 2k19 but as you guys can see i'm using hall of fame quick draw off catch and shoot is very very wet of dribble as well, it is wet as well. It has a higher make percentage than Kobe Bryant, but a lower make percentage than Ray Allen. The green window isn't as big as Kobe's, but it is just a little bit behind that because it is a slower jump shot. And you know, slower jump shots are easier to time in this game. I highly recommend you guys use no shot meter with this jump shot. Again, I did green a lot of shots. I, this is the first two to three gameplays I played with this jump shot, so this jump shot is very easy to learn, and again, it works on Hall of Fame Quick Draw. Now, this jump shot, I wouldn't recommend it for silver or gold, because it is on the slower side of jump shots I said just before, but if you're looking for a jump shot that will work off catch and shoot, off dribble, and will help you out tremendously, I am cold right here, all because I was doing too many layups and trying to do close shot fades, I don't know why, but again, I am greening, I'm playing with randoms, I've never played with these kids in my life. So, obviously, it is a new jump shot. I chucked on catch and shoot just for this gameplay on the bum court, just because I needed to try it out on the bum court with, with catch and shoot, which actually doesn't really matter at all. But I do hit a near half court shot as well. But, once again, this jump shot, I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10 on the best jump shots. And it works best on Hall of Fame Quick Draw. You could use a custom jump shot if you feel accustomed to doing that. But no stamina of dribble. I do cash it green every single time because it is very, very easy to time. So let's go have a look how to time this jump shot in the my court. Now that we're in the my court, once again, I'm slowing it down. That is how to time the jump shot. Now I'm going to show you a standstill picture on how I time the jump shot. When your feet are looking down to the ground, and when your hands are both elevated to the tippy toe of the roof. So your feet are looking down, your hands are looking at the roof as well. So it's when that perfect center, and your legs are perfectly straight, your back is perfectly straight. So your body is fully in line with itself. 100% straight is where you release the jump shot. But that is today's video, guys. They are the top three most underrated slept on jump shots in NBA 2K20. Make sure to leave that like, hit that subscribe button, to follow all my socials, be entered into the giveaway, turn the post notifications on. Catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Non-stop videos coming out. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.